speaking of originators and legends, I have another originator and legend right here in the form of Jimmy Page. Yeah. Yeah. Great guitar originators of all time. And Led Zeppelin performed, uh, got together in 2007, after everybody sort of kept begging you to get back together. And we've, we've made a DVD of that amazing one-off performance. What was it in 2007 that made you get back together? Well, um, Armit Ertigan, who, who was like Atlantic Records for us, really, you know, he... he uh, he, he, he died and there was this call to, to have a, a foundation, really, for Amit. And uh, there was a charity gig that was lined up to be done at the O2. Uh, originally, they'd asked us to do 20 minutes, but it ended up that we did, like, two hours and 20 minutes. Nice. But so many other bands came along to, to support the charity. But you must have thought such a lot of Amit to, to uh, do a gig for him, because everybody had been begging you for ages. Well, that's right. We'd, we'd uh, come together with Jason Bonham before mm. to play the Atlantic uh, 40th, which was oh, some 20-something years beforehand. Mm. So it was really good to get back together with Jason mm. and really have a, a serious crack at it. And you get the whole story here and yeah. some fantastic things. And Jason must have brought a different dimension to the group, did he? Well, yes, he did. I mean, he, 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 he by my estimation, he had the hardest job of anybody there, and we put a lot of re rehearsal into it, so that, put a lot of work into it, so we were really, really tight fitting, you know, and, and we could also go, go off on one tangent and another. And uh, uh, the whole energy that Jason had all the way through was just phenomenal. Yeah, a great drummer in here, mate. Fabulous drummer. So let's have a little look. We've got a little a bit of a clip of uh, Kashmir here, I think. Yeah. Some amazing footage in there. Yeah. Once you got back on stage, once you actually played on the stage, did it feel like the same? Did it feel like kind of like you were a comfortable place to be back in? Um, well, it was the only gig we did. We didn't do any warm-up gigs, um, so it was the only way that we could gauge what we were doing, you know, in front of an audience. And to be honest with you, a lot of it was it was very powerful on stage. I mean, it had, it had serious moments. You can catch that in this, yeah. you know. I mean, even us, when we came back to look at it, it was like, wow. Yeah, no, you yeah. do capture it. Yeah. And it's captured, which is great, yeah, yeah, on, this, yeah. on well, the it DVD. Is. And finally, I suppose 20 million people applied for tickets for that show. Mm. And you could only fit 20,000. Only 20,000. Led Zeppelin are phenomenally popular. There are 20 million people, that's more people than this. It's more people that's in my big band, unbelievably. <laughs> it's more people than almost anybody I know. So, uh, are they to be disappointed, or is there going to be? An, will they like? Is there likely to be another Led Zeppelin concert? Well, look, we, we're almost five years after the uh, the O2 concert, and I must say that uh, I thought there might be an, uh, uh, some other sort of get together for some reason or another. But as the years tick by. You know, one year, two years, three years, four years, now almost five years. I, it doesn't look very likely, does it? But you can but, capture the wonderful moment. It's there. Moment it's the all moment there. is captured in this time. Thank you very much for joining us. Jimmy Payne. Yeah.